I think it's important we have some historical perspective to this matter because I've heard that in some quarters they've uh, uh, alleged that this is an arbitrary uh, review that doesn't follow the provision of the heart. I think it's important I clearly state that this uh, review process has complied fully with the provision of the heart. The review process started last year, around the uh, end of first quarter of last year, and by around July, we called for uh, a rate hearing, whereby the discus were asked to come and justify their um, rate review application they made to the commission. Uh, as part of the process, we invited the consumer groups, we invited the Nigeria Society of Engineers, we invited some interveners who are experts in the field. Then we invited, no, he was also invited, which is an arm of the Nigeria Labor Congress, to come and interrogate the application by the uh, distribution companies. So after that, going to December, we issued an order. But in the wisdom of the commission and in consultation with the policy makers, we decided to uh, first, the tariff, the tariff were uh, the tariffs were frozen to the level that was obtainable since December 2022. So in that case, and uh, if you look at electricity, it's a product like every other product, and one of the uh, raw materials for the generation of electricity is gas. Uh, as of December 2022, the gas was $2.18 per uh, mmbtu. And uh, when you look at that $2.18 at the exchange rate obtainable during that period compared to the exchange rate now, you will realize the difference, the margin at which the cost of gas has actually moved in Naira 10. And recently, there's been an increase in the cost of gas again from, I think, uh, from $2.18 to $2.42. So what you're saying is that the price of uh, the dollar is responsible for the increase? Not only the, uh, part, uh, the uh, price of dollars, we have inflation that has moved from what it was into December 2022. And what right, is beautiful. It so what is the state uh, of subsidy in electricity? Oh, uh, is government still paying subsidy and who benefits from it? Okay, as was announced by the Commission earlier on, the rate increase we only have felt the customers that are in Banhe enjoying a minimum average of 20 hours of supply per day as measured over a seven day rolling period as well as a, a one month rolling period. So what that means is that only a fraction of the customers will be affected, 15%. So that, what that tells us is other customers whose tariffs have remained frozen uh, enjoy full subsidy from the federal government. Now, as talking well. about uh, this 20 hours a day that you have uh, categorized as band A, some say that uh, that's a very uh, optimistic, uh, you know, calculation uh, because they don't enjoy up to 12 hours of electricity per day. So, how did you come about the band A categorization? Okay, be before I uh, respond to that question, I think I was, I was saying that the government is keeping subsidy. Because uh, it's estimated that if nothing is done, we will be approaching three trillion subsidy for this year alone, which is not sustainable. When you look at the budget of the country, and you are now talking about a third of the budget as subsidy to electricity, and in the wisdom of the, the president, he has uh, approved a uh, presidential metering initiative to ensure that any gain from uh, reduction in subsidy arising from the increase in tariff to this fraction of customers will now also be diverted into ensuring that all customers are metered. With respect to the uh, classification, I think when we started and up till uh, yesterday, the number of feeders on Bank A were 1,100 approximately. And uh, based on our review of what has happened in the last one year, we realized that on average, these customers on Band A enjoy average of 16 hours uh, per day. But that means so that not, when so you are looking at average, hours. yeah, when you are looking at average, that means that some customers actually will enjoy more than 20 hours expected, and more customers will enjoy something lower than 20 is that? hours. What fraction so, of the Nigerian population is that? 15% uh, of the customers uh, are actually beautiful. going to be affected. 
So what I'm not, uh, trying to say is that upon reviewing that uh, performance, we now came up with the need to actually reduce the number of feeders that will now qualify as band A for this increase. So from that 1,100 feeders that were previously categorized as band A, for this increase in tariff, the commission has only approved 481 feeders. And that 481 feeders are the feeders that have been adjusted based on empirical evidence to have uh, experienced an average of 20 hours per day. Of course, many people will say, oh, no, but there are people that have also testified. All we are right. all consumers okay. and we live in different locations. And what Agreed, we agreed Dr. Okay. Uh, Osede, because of time, uh, do you think the regulator, talking about NEC now, has the capacity to monitor and ensure customers on Band A enjoy 20 hours steady supply? And uh, what is the penalty for the 14 discos? And uh, just a quick uh, addition, going forward, are we likely to see better services? Okay, quick one. Um, we are leveraging on technology to monitor the process and for us to have reduced the number of feeders from 1,100 to 481 that we are confident of. It means that a lot of work has gone into that. So what we are doing now is that we have access to the meta data management system of the distribution companies. We log in directly to get information from the smart feeders on the, uh, the smart meters that are currently on the feeders that are affected by this rate review. So that we don't rely only on the information from the discos. So we get the information near real time from the source they are also getting it from. So beyond that, we've asked the disco to publish the rolling uh, seven days rolling average of the level of service in each of the feeders that are going to be affected. And uh, customers can actually log into the uh, website of the distribution company to do that. So if within a seven days, seven consecutive days, a disco is unable to meet the service level, service commitment on any feeder, the feeder will be downgraded. If we review over a month and a disco is unable to meet the service level, the feeder will not only be downgraded, but the disco will pay compensation to the, the customers. 